All right, guys, we're going to take a look at graphing linear inequalities. Um, two ways we could do this, by hand or by calculator. Remember, the focus now is for me to show you how to do it by calculator. So we're going to Google the calculator for the state test because it, it um, changes the functionality versus the regular Desmos. So what you're going to Google is Desmos um, GA state that let's try that one georgia desmos state test version something like that all right then you're going to get the graphing calculator the important thing to notice is right here it should say georgia okay because again there's some functionalities that you won't have access to with a regular calculator so we might as well get used to what we're going to actually have all right so graphing um linear equations again to split your screen it's very simple to do what you're going to do is go to the top right hand corner where you see the two small um squares you're going to click on that and then you can resize your window by coming to the edge of your window wait until you see your arrows and you can drag it however you can come to the corner um let's see like this one you can make this um number one we're going to put the equation in y equals mx plus b you're going to plot the y intercept this is by hand use slope to create more points this is by far the fastest way i'm just going to quickly show it to you just because i can't help myself um so it says Put the equation in on y equals mx plus b form it is because this is y equals mx plus b then plot the y-intercept where's the y-intercept happening at positive three so this is the y-intercept right here then this is the slope invisible one so starts at positive three i just plotted it and then it says um use slope to create more points by rising and then running you might need an invisible one to make it a fraction so since there's no number here we're going to go ahead and make it an invisible one so it's going to be one over one what that means is you're going to go up one right one up one right one up one right one up one right one and keep plotting uh points so boom something like that okay but if you didn't understand it that's fine because the focus of this class right now is going to be to be doing by calculator so it says type the equation exactly as you see it into the graphing calculator so first question is going to be um and you can type g of x let's see if it'll show up real quick um if it does not show up we do have to have y equals so let me just make sure real quick oh it shows up so that's fine typed it in exactly what i saw okay uh, find two coordinates x y that lie on a corner and plot them on your graph because what you're going to have to do is transfer your answer from desmos onto whatever platform you're using whether that's paper whether that's delta math whether it's a state test no matter what it is you have to transfer it over so this is the answer you just have to learn how to take these coordinates and put it there so you need x and y now very simply if they give you um, y intercepts that are whole numbers you're going to use those so what you're going to do is you're going to plot the two points and join the dots. So, all right, so 0, 3. Okay, my other one is negative 3, 0. So negative 3, 0. And taking a ruler, all right, now I'm doing this by free hand, by mouse. This is really bad. But yeah, take a ruler and join those two points, and that's it. That's how you use a Desmos calculator. Um, we're going to do some of the ones that aren't in y equals form so we've just dealt with if the, you can have these y intercept corners you go ahead and use those but what if you don't have the y intercept corners okay so let's find let's do example three so once again i'm typing in exactly what i see 10x minus 8y equals 24 it, that's my answer so desmos does this for you the problem is you got to take your answer from desmos and put it in the platform so again if I have X and Y intercepts, boom, I'm good. But the problem with this is you have 2.4. You cannot plot 2.4 because you're not going to be exact. So we need we need a different way of getting points. I have one point, which is 0, negative 3. So I have this point right here. But I cannot guess. Like, I can't put it right here. It has to be a whole number. So that is not a point. So what do I do when I don't have an exact number? Okay, well, here are your notes on that. So finding coordinates x, y that lie on the corner. On Desmos, you're going to start on the far left part of the graph and follow it. So far left, and you're going to follow it like this with your mouse until you get to a whole number. So these are, there are three methods it looks like. Okay, so method one, I'm going to start on the far left. So down here, and I'm clicking on the mouse. So click on the mouse until you can see, you see a whole number. So not a decimal, but you need something with a whole number. That was close, but you see the Y is still a decimal. 
So you're going to keep going, keep going, because you're looking for a whole number on both numbers. You cannot have any decimals. So this is method number one. Oh, I think I found one. So it, it happened really fast right there. Negative four, negative eight is a coordinate. So I come back to my, um, my platform. All I need is two points. Once I have two points, I'm good. So negative four, negative eight. Oh, I don't have negative eight on this paper. I can't graph that point. That's fine. So I can keep going with that method until I find another point. But let me go ahead and show you a different method if you don't like that one. All right. Another way is start on the left corner part of the line and follow it until you get to a corner. Okay. So a corner, let me just be very clear as to what a corner is. So you see that this is a box right here, right? The corners are these four dots right here, what I'm putting right here. These are corners of that box. So does this red line pass through one of those four dots? No. So it does not pass through right here and right here. It's not passing through a corner. What if I drew this box right here? Does this red line pass through one of the corners? The corners are the edges of the square. Yes, it does right here. So this is a corner. So a corner is happening here at two and whatever this number is, which I can't see. So that's what I'm looking for here. Now I'm going to zoom in so that it's going by ones. I'm not looking for twos. I want to zoom in. So you're going to press the plus sign or um, zoom in with your mouse or with your keypad. So I'm just going to place plus. You see it's going up by ones. All right. So now I'm looking for corners. So here's a box right here. Does that graph go through a corner? No, it does not. Here's another uh, box. Nope. Here's another box, and I'm just following the line. All right, here's another box. Yes, that goes through the corner, but that's the point I already had, right? So keep following it. Here's a box. Nope. Here's a box, and I'm just going diagonally just like the line is. Here's another box. Nothing yet. Here's another box. And when you get used to this, you can spot corners really fast. Here's a box right here. Boom. I just found a corner right here, and we're going to prove it by doing the first method, which is at 4-2. All right, so I've just found a corner at 4, 2. So I'm going to go back to my question at 4 and 2. I have a graph, so therefore I can plot a point. Now, once you have two points, you're just joining those lines together. Okay, that's method 2. Method 3, <coughs> excuse me, let's see what method 3 is. After typing the equation into Desmos, click on the setting wheel and then table, and you will see the coordinates. This only works if you put the equation in y equal. So I'm going to double check that because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So it says click the setting wheel, boom. All right, I don't have a table. That's why it's saying it only works if you put the equation in y equals. So all I'm going to do is take this to the other side. If I take 10x to the other side, it's going to become what? Negative 10x. So I'm going to control x, come here and do minus control v. And as soon as I do that and I hit settings, does it become a table? No. So what I have to do is make it exactly like it's saying, y equals, right? So the only thing that's bothering it is this. I have to divide everything by negative 8. That means I come to 24 and I divide it by negative 8. I come to this one and I divide it by negative 8. Okay. Now let me see. If I hit settings, there it is. Okay. So this table uh, version of it only works if you put in y equals. But after you put in y equals, it's super, super simple because you're going to be able just to see. So I can see all of these are decimals, so that's not helping me right now. Um, that's not helping me right now, so I'm just going to give it some more numbers. Let's say 3. Let's say 4. There is 1. So 4, 2. They are both whole numbers, so I would plot 4, 2. Let me keep going. Decimal, 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 eight, seven. That's another one. It's not on my graph, but there's another point. And you can keep going even backwards. So this starts at negative two. So let's do negative three. Negative three. Nope. Negative four. There, that works. Negative four, negative eight. So the table one is the simplest because you can just see the numbers. Um, but it does have a little work on the forefront because you must make it into y equals. So three different methods of grabbing the coordinate because the answer is right there in front of you, but you just have to put it into your platform. All right. So what you're going to do now is you are now going to finish the rest of the examples. So example four, five, and six. Let's practice.